Oh Lord, what a privilege, what a privilege to be seated with you, oh Most High God. Far above principalities and powers. With you, oh God, in your amazing grace, you reign through us. You are righteous, oh Lord, in your amazing. Father, we bless your names. Thank you for your wholesome presence in this place, your power and your glory. Thank you for giving us the privilege to share in the very life that you have, the privilege to teach your people the very oracle of God. I pray for understanding of all that we share this evening in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray for the impartation of grace. I pray for quick understanding. Yes. I pray, Lord, yes. a grace to put to work that which we are teaching this evening in the name of the Lord Jesus. And by your spirit, all that are listening shall receive from you this evening the power of God to heal is present in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus bless the teaching of your word thank you we give you glory in Jesus name amen. all the saints say amen. amen shout amen amen wow we are privileged today to have the only evangelist we know in the nations of the Zoe Kingdom. <laughs> Evangelist Dennis, the Zono Pastor of Zone 3. Amen. We are privileged to have you here today thank as you, we share in the PM gathering. Yeah, thank you for, for being here. Amen. Amen. And today, you know, the past patria in January, especially, we have been uh, expounding on the word of the year and so today we are going to continue with what we were doing last year this the prayer series which is it's actually not the is the series of relationship with god and we re, we discuss we learn that you cannot relate without communication yes. and we learn that prayer is communication with god talking with god not talking to god mm. it's a two-way traffic you know i talk to you and you talk to me you speak to me like I'm talking to you right now. You're listening. Yes. And then you have time to respond to what I'm saying. That is prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So I'm going to ask you, today we are going to start the prayer of agreement. That is another kind of prayer. The prayer of agreement. Yes, sir. You know, the power of all we are teaching is in your ability to practice it so toward the end of this teaching today we shall ask you to pray on a specific thing mm. prayer of agreement yes. so you're going to talk to us tell us something what you know everyone has uh, everyone who have a relationship with god has something special that in their relationship god has revealed to them how um uh, they they relate with god Tell us something about prayer, then you can go into talking about the prayer of agreement. What is prayer of agreement? Uh, what is prayer of agreement? So just tell us something about prayer. I don't think I've hosted you on the PM live on the prayer series. So tell us something about prayer, then we get into 
uh, explaining what the prayer of agreement is. Uh, you can talk, say something about the prayer of agreement, and then we dive in the whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, thank Over you so you. much, uh, Apostle Sir, for having me uh, today in uh, an unknown set with you. It's a privilege and an honor to teach God's people uh, with you. Thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity. Um, in the prayer series, sir, you've, you've taught us about what prayer is all about. And you've taught us that prayer is basically communication with God. And in communication, you taught us that communication is a two-way. Uh, if I communicate to you something and you, didn't, you don't respond to me, there is no communication in that regard. But if I communicate to you and you communicate back to me, then that is actual communication. So when we pray to the Lord, he must respond to us. And that is where communication becomes complete. And that is what you taught us. And it makes more meaning in that way. Because imagine if I'm communicating, for example, to my wife and she's not responding, I wonder and say, what, what could be the problem? What could be the issue? So many people experience that and you've taught us the, what actually prayer is all about. You know, and so when we talk to the Lord, when we communicate to the Lord, the Lord communicates back to us. So prayer is basically that simple, communicating to God. And the communication, of course, has a lot of content in it, what we are saying to the Lord, the content of our prayers. You know, the Bible shows us how to pray. And you've taught us in the prayer series on how to pray the contents of our prayer. You know, and so basically, when I communicate to God through His Word, I get to learn God's word. When I meditate on God's word and I communicate to God, agreeing to God with his word concerning my life, that is the best way of communicating or that is the best way of prayer. And today we're going to handle one of the um, categories of prayer in this prayer series, the prayer of agreement. And you know, it is, it's, it's wonderful. The Bible says in, in, in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 18 from verse 16, talks of uh, Jesus saying, when, we, when two of us... Matthew 18, 16. Could just project it on the screen. Project so it on the screen. Uh, the people can follow. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes Jesus began to teach his disciples about prayer and it's talking about where two or three are gathered he says that but if I think it is 16, 18 yeah, 16, 18 it I thought 16. you want to start from 16 so that it give it yes. I think we can read from 16 so that it goes down mm. to show the yes. people the context yes you can just take it from 16 Okay, it says, but if he will not hear from thee, then take him with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. 17. And if he shall neglect to hear thee, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as even man and a publican. 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. 19. Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Now, this, is, this gives us the basic of the prayer of agreement. And Jesus Christ as indicated, they are principles of the prayer of agreement. Just like the name is, we have to agree concerning something. And I cannot agree, I cannot agree with myself. Because so Jesus said, if the two of you, which means one of the principles of the prayer of agreement, there must be two or more. 
and there must be agreement in our discussion. So if I have an issue that I want us to handle in the prayer, I tell you the details of that particular thing. If it is about my finances, if it is about my family, I tell you the details and I say, this is what I want us to pray. This is what I want to change. This is what I want to change in my finance. And when we agree and say, okay, what do I want? Okay? He says, when they are touching anything, so I have to tell you that this is the current state of my finances. And I want my finances to change to this particular level. I can say, for example, that, you know, currently in a month I have, you know, 100,000. But I want that to change to a million. So I have been very specific in what I want in the prayer of agreement. So when we are praying, we know exactly the amount that we're going to declare in the prayer of agreement. Okay? So it says that, and it says, shall agree on earth as touching anything. Now, Whatever that issue is, it must be on the earth. We must, that particular issue must be within the earth, not in heaven. We cannot agree on something which is in heaven. So Jesus says that that particular thing must be on earth, touching anything. So, so that, that, that means you can't make half a prayer of agreement with a saint that is in heaven. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't say, St. Mary and St. Paul should pray for us in heaven <laughs> a you prayer of agreement you can't say that you can't do that you have to be on earth you have to be on earth <laughs> yeah. yes. jesus christ was very specific and then the other thing is he didn't specify that particular issue meaning that you can ask anything because he says as touching anything that they shall ask now that is a blank check that the Lord has given unto us. It does not necessarily have to limit your asking to a particular thing. But it says, if you shall ask touching anything, if you want, doesn't, it depends on what you want God to do for you. You know, so that particular thing must be on the earth. As we have said, you have to... And, and anything means anything. Anything means Anything. Anything does not mean something. It means anything. Anything. <laughs> I know as, as, we are, as we are sharing now, that particular thing you're thinking about in your mind, that thing that has come into your mind, as long as it's, it's within the, 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 the glory of God that can bring glory to God, anything, he says, you can ask. Then he gives us the assurance that it shall be done. You know, he didn't say that Tomorrow, he says, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. You know, this, this is so powerful. And if yes, you are, are listening to us, you know, when the Bible says, this is actually Jesus speaking. Mm. If you go to the, the Bible, especially King James, you find it's red highlighted. Mm. I want to First, get to Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19, and we come back here. Okay. Because mm. I want to show you, I want, I, want, I want to point out something. Let's get to Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19. I want you to follow me very well. Because what we are teaching you is what Jesus told us to teach. To teach yes, sir. Yes. Look, he said, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Mm. Jesus has absolute power in heaven and on earth. He didn't say some of the power. Mm. He didn't say 90% of the power. Mm. He didn't say 99.999% of the power. He said all, all power. power in heaven and on earth for avoiding of doubt. Mm. If he said all power in heaven, then we will know that we are limited. I mean, Jesus is limited to heaven. Mm -hmm. But he said all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Let's see verse 19. Mm -hmm. On the account of this power, which he say he has all, mm -hmm. he sent us now. He said, go ye therefore. Mm -hmm. So he sent us with the absolute power. Mm -hmm. In other words, Jesus is saying, look, he said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, mm. baptizing them 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Mm. He sent us with delegated power mm. Mm. to do, to teach all nations. Let's see number, number, number verse 20. I want you to see that. He said, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Mm. Now, when you, lo, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Now, he sent us to teach what he commanded us. Mm. Mm. So, get back to 18. Get back to chapter 18, verse 19. If you start from 17, you see that Jesus is mm. telling us, mm. he's telling us what? Is commanding us to do this kind of prayer. He said, mm. and again I say unto you. Mm. He's saying, and again I say unto I you, if uh, that if two of you mm. agree on earth touching anything that is, they shall ask, mm. it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Now, there is a big difference between the prayer of agreement and the prayer of faith. Mm. The prayer of faith, you're not talking to God. Mm. You are talking to the situation. The, situation. the prayer of agreement, you are not talking to the situation. You are talking to God, to God. about the situation. Mm. Because he said, if, if two of you, like you said, mm. let's list down the requirement. Number one, mm. the participant must be on earth, as you already said. Yes. That is number one. That is what he said. Mm. Number two, the participant cannot agree by himself. Mm. That seems to be an agreement. Yes, sir. The participant need another person or more. Mm. So you need two or more person mm. in that patriot gathering mm. right now. Mm. You are more than two. Mm. So you can prepare of agreement. Mm. So number one, you need to be two or more. Mm. Number two, you must be on earth. Mm. Okay? Number three, your request must be definite. Mm. You can't be juggling around asking, Lord, I want to marry. I want to marry. Lord, I want to marry. Mm. Lord, I want to. That's, that's not the prayer of agreement. Brother, let's pray. Mm. I want to marry. Lord, I want to marry. You know, you have to be <laughs> definite. You want to marry who? Do you want to marry a cow? You know, one time God brought cows and cattle and everything to yes. Adam. Yes. Eh, to pick a woman from. That's why some people are confused. Mm. And they say they are children of Adam. They are not even <laughs> children of Adam. They are children of the devil. Yes. Because if now you're going to a cow, to animals... You know, Adam never chose the animal. No. Even a fallen man. You see, you have to be definite, touching mm. anything that is on earth. So number one, you must be two or more. Number three, I mean number two, you have to be on earth. earth. Number three, you have to be definite, definite. in your request. Mm. Definite in your request. Number four, you must agree. Mm. You must what? Agree. In agreement. You must be in agreement. Praise the Lord. Mm. Now, this is so powerful. The Bible didn't say something. It said anything. anything. So that means the power to change anything, you have it in your disposal. Mm. And this is reality. Mm. Whether you got born again today or you got born again 20 years ago, the power to change anything, you and, have and, it And, and so the, 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 the beauty yes. is that when you connect this to Matthew 28, yes, the one who is telling us to say this kind of prayer is the one who has all the authority yes. in heaven and in earth. Yes. Meaning that he, when we do what he said yes. we should do, then we can be sure to hold him responsible yes. for what he said. Meaning that he cannot, and God cannot deny himself. That's true. He cannot deny his word. So this is actually a very powerful kind of prayer that can yield tremendous results for us if we follow the principles that you've just shared with us here. Yes, so I just wanted to connect that the same Jesus Christ who told us to pray is the one holding all the authority in heaven and earth concerning all that we could ask. So very, very powerful, sir. Yeah, you know, we, we must... 
this is the, the 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 power of any scriptures is in the application. Yes. If you don't apply it, it has no power. The word of God, just like a seed, Jesus said it right in the parable of the sower. The word of God is a seed, and a seed has no power until it is planted. Mm -hmm. The power of a seed is in its being planted. Mm. Actually, Jesus said in John, I think, John chapter, is it 14, uh, 12, or 12, 14, when he said, the grain of a, a wheat remain alone, except it is planted. Mm. He said, but when it is planted, it uh, dies and come out with others. Yes. The power of a seed is in its being, uh, in the ability for it to germinate and, germinate grow. and grow. The power of any scriptures is in when you act it, that's when that scripture has power. Mm. Even this prayer of agreement, if you don't put it to work, mm. it has no power. As powerful as we see the scripture says, mm. that you can employ this for anything. anything. Meaning your business can change. Hallelujah. Your career can change. Hallelujah. Your marriage can change. Yes. Your relationship with your parent and anybody can change based on these scriptures. Mm. You can pray and bring a change, a definite change. Mm. Now, uh, why I, I actually say there is a difference between the prayer of faith and the prayer of agreement because it is important. We discussed the prayer of faith last year. Yes. The prayer of faith as its own uh, requirements, requirements or principles, principles which yes. we discussed last time. Mm. The prayer of faith is a prayer you talk, is talking to someone, something step definite also. You have mm. to be definite. You have mm. to be specific. Mm. <laughs> this one, you have to talk to God. Mm. You understand? Yes, sir. The prayer of faith, when you pray, you must never doubt. Mm. You must never doubt. Mm. Even this one, when you pray, mm. at the time of agreement, mm. you must never doubt. Yes. As long as there is no doubt at the time of prayer, mm. when you are making the agreement, mm. you are making the prayer, mm. you are in agreement, yes. the power is released. Hallelujah. Now, if one of us, if we pray the prayer of agreement, and one of us after that prayer started doubting, it doesn't affect the prayer of agreement. Mm. Did you get it? When we agree that, okay, let's pray about um, maybe something that is disturbing our family, and at the time we are making that prayer, you are in agreement with me. Mm. We pray that prayer and we receive the answer mm. according to the word. Mm. If you go out and start a doubting whether God answers, it mm. does not affect, wow. it doesn't affect the agreement we made. Mm. Let me give you an, a, a picture. If I'm supposed to transact something with you mm. and I wrote an agreement with you, you sign it, and I signed. Because at the time of signing, that means you have faith mm. in, the in the agreement. And I signed it. After that, if you started doubting, does it affect the agreement we signed? No. No, the agreement has already been signed. It comes a it's, a it's a binding document. That is the thing. At the time of making the prayer of agreement, mm. if we are in agreement, mm. If you walk away afterward and started doubting, it, it does not affect the prayer we made. Wow. That's wow. how powerful the wow. prayer of agreement wow. is. And this is why we need to employ the prayer of agreement often as believers. Mm. You understand? Mm. This is different from the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith, the moment you doubt, before actually receiving the manifestation of the result, it cancels everything. Mm. Whereas for the prayer of agreement, it doesn't cancel anything. If it is to cancel anything. We both of us need to come back and agree again to mm. cancel it. Mm. If we don't come back to agree again to cancel it, it does not cancel anything. Mm. Now, we can read that from the book of Acts chapter 12. Mm. When you read the book of Acts chapter 12 from verse 5, this is an account of Peter. Peter was arrested mm. and thrown in jail. Can we have that put up? Peter, I mean, Acts chapter uh, 12 from verse 4. From verse 4. Let's read from verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. And when he had apprehended him, that is Herod, and put him in prison, and delivered him to four quarter, quarter noon of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Verse 5. 
Peter therefore was kept in prison. I want you to see this. Peter was kept in prison on earth. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church and to God for him. Uh -huh. Where was the church? On earth. Okay? The church was on earth. Who was making the prayer? The church. More than two people. Okay? What were they praying for? Peter to be released. Definite prayer. And they had an agreement for him to be released. Peter therefore escaped in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Verse 6. Okay, I am going to jump from 6 to 13, from verse to just verse 13, because, because of time. Verse 13. That tells you that if you read the whole story, you see how Peter was mightily delivered by the angel and as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, the damsel I want to show you what I've just said that the doubt of others after the prayer of agreement has been made does not nullify the result and as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel called, I mean came to came to Aken, named Rhoda and when she knocked, I mean she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. Let's continue uh, next verse. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But these are people who have been praying. They were praying by faith, thinking, believing God that God can do anything. He can release Peter. Have you ever been in that state where you pray the prayer and someone say, I got a miracle and say, Hey, are you mad? That condition we knew that, ah, uh, at the time they were praying, they had faith. Yes. They agreed that mm. Peter must be released by God. Mm. But look at their response. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, it is his angel. This guy thought <laughs> Herod has killed the guy. And uh, what this guy is seeing is a ghost of Peter. <laughs> 16. But Peter continued knocking. Mm. And when they had opened the door and they saw him, they were astonished. Did you see that? Mm. So the doubt of the other people in the group mm. could not nullify the result of their prayer. prayer. They had made their prayer and God has answered their prayer. Mm. That's how powerful the power of prayer of agreement. And this is how simple it is. Mm. You just need two people. Two persons. You need just two people. Mm. This year of the ecstatic joy, Amen. you can provoke joy always, even in the midst of the most challenging and their condition through your prayer of agreement. Yes. You need to have a prayer partner. When there is a challenge, call that person mm. in that very patria. Mm. In that very patria. You can have somebody you always have a prayer of agreement with. Yes. You come and just tell the person what you're going through. But you need to be, um, you don't need to be, so you know, some people come, they say, pray for me, pray for me. I can't tell you the detail of the thing. God doesn't, God is not a mafia. If you're not open, <laughs> you don't want to share the detail, that's not how God works. Mm. You can't pray a prayer of agreement if the person is not willing to disclose what disclose. the issue are. Imagine we are praying, we are trying to agree on something. I don't know exactly what the issue we are praying with. How do I agree with you now? There's no way I can agree it's with not, you. It's not possible. Yeah. I must know the thing that you want us to pray for. Mm. You know? If you want a job this year, a job maybe in UN, come and tell me we join on and we pray a prayer of agreement. Mm. After that, when we say, in Jesus' name, Amen. It is done. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise I think you're going to share something briefly and then mm. you will pray for those who want to get saved mm. and then we pray for the sick and close. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Um, just to emphasize again, <laughs> as you were sharing that, I, I, I looked at an, another account of the prayer of agreement in actually Acts chapter number four when Peter and John were arrested by the Pharisees and they were beaten, the Bible actually say when they went back to their own company, they rehearsed unto them all that happened. 
Yes. So just like you said that they, you have to give the details of that prayer of agreement. Yes. So when they rehearsed, they actually gave them the details of what happened. And then they said they with one accord they prayed. And still we also see that God responded to their prayer. And they were specific that you grant us the boldness to preach your word. So they, they, they were very specific about the boldness. They said, we want boldness that we may continue to speak your word. The Bible says the Holy Ghost came upon them and they received boldness. Hallelujah. And they spoke the word of God with all boldness. Very interesting account. Like they said, and now the Lord Lord, behold, they are threatening, and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Next verse. By stretching forth thine hand to heal, that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. 31. <laughs> and when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spake the word of God with what? With boldness. boldness. That means God answered this God prayer. Answered prayer. Definite answer. answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that, you know, even in that patria, you can set a goal of how many people you want to have in your patria and pray a prayer of agreement exactly. and see that increase. Exactly. You can set faith goal on your finances. Mm. Pray a prayer of agreement and see that faith goal come to pass. Mm. You can get your husband that way. You can have a wife that way. Mm. You can own land that way. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead and pray for someone who want to give his heart yes. to Christ right now. So if, if you're there wherever you are and you want to give your heart to Christ, you can just repeat these words after me. Say, so, dear God in heaven, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe that God raised him from the dead and is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. And by faith in his name, I receive eternal life into my spirit and from this day I am born again thank you Lord for saving my soul in Jesus name Amen, amen. amen. If you've said that prayer God has heard you and uh, we believe that the, 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 the patria leader or the nuclear leader is there with you to support you and it's very important that you join the foundation class so that you begin to learn the principles of how to walk in the Lord. Amen. Thank you, sir. And now we agree in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We agree in the name of the Lord Jesus you, Lord. against the spirit of infirmities. Amen. The word of the Lord says that I wish above all things yes, Lord. thou may prosper and be in health Amen. even as thy soul prosper. We come against disease. Jesus. We come against the spirit of infirmities. Amen. Wherever you are right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the authority granted me, yes. I rebuke sickness and disease. I cut off the spirit of infirmities. That devil of insanity, I command it to come out. Come out of God's people right now. I command healing in your body right now. Be healed in your body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. And you're healed. Amen. You're healed. Just as we have agreed right now. You are healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of God is over you. Just receive your healing and stand up and walk. Open your eyes and begin to see. You are free. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. And I want to encourage you. Come to church. Those of you who have given your heart to Christ. I want to see you in church. I love you. I believe in you. I want to be your pastor. I want to pastor you. Amen. See you in church. Amen. I want to give you a hug. Thank you for Amen. hugging me. I want to give. I will give you a physical hug when you come to church. Amen. And we believe in it. Thank you for Amen. all that you've been Amen. Uh, doing. The patriot movement leaders, the nuclear leaders. Mm. We'll be glad to see you on Sunday. Thank you. God bless you. Shalom.